Lucy, open up. I'd leave it packed if I were you. You are an absolute fool not getting on that flight, Maxine. You're off the scene for five seconds and that Sienna gets a clause into him again. That relationship is never going to end. How can you not see that? All I can see is a manipulative mother. You forced Warren to break up with me. Do you know, this whole thing with Sienna is probably because of you. She thought she was free again, but you know what? That's probably exactly what you wanted. If you go back with him, you are making a big mistake. Maybe, Mum, but it's my mistake to make. This is not eating too much ice cream and getting on a on a roller coaster. Remember that day you were sick everywhere? That was you! Do you know what? Even your anecdotes are lies between us. You, know, you have not been anywhere near me in my adult life, so what gives you the right now to advise me? My mistakes! I got taken in by Fergus and I don't want the same thing to happen to you! Warren isn't Fergus! He exploited everyone he knew, including you! I know. And I'm ashamed that I didn't really know who he was. And now everybody's going to think I'm a complete idiot. This is the part where you say, no, don't worry, Mum, nobody thinks that. Maybe you should put your energies into making this right instead of hassling me. And just so we're clear, I won't give up on Warren whether you like that or not. OK. But you need to put that Sienna in her place. There are three people in your relationship, Maxine. So maybe you should put your energy into sorting that out. The best time of the year. I heard what you said to Warren yesterday. So what is this? Some kind of don't take my man intervention? Warren told me you'd asked to meet him here, and I am more than capable of taking you on. See, having Trish as a mother was excellent strength training, as was being married to your dad. You see, the days of me scrapping over a fella in the street are long gone, so I've come here to save you a little bit of dignity. You want to move forward with your life, Sienna? You'll do it alone. Warren's mine. Yeah, I'd have paid good money to see you taking on Sienna. Yeah, well, if you find my body buried under a patio, you know why. <laughs> and if you find mine, I want Trish questioned immediately. Come on now, she's not that bad. Every now and again, she gives you a nugget of advice that makes her worth all the aggro. Why what? Like fresh starts. You know, she's giving everyone in the village the property back, making right Fergus's wrongs. Fresh starts? Is that what we're having? Speaking of fresh starts, give us a minute, will you? I'll leave you to it. Felix. Felix, mate. I'm not your mate. Look, I'm not asking for forgiveness. I don't deserve that. I just wanted to give Walter a call, tell him I'm sorry. You attack an old man while he's sick, and now you want to say sorry? That's not going to make anything go anywhere. I didn't tell him it was you. I don't want you to think I was protecting you, by the way. I don't understand. Walter's back in Jamaica right now. The sun is shining in his face. He's eating like a king. All is well in his world. If he was to find out that it was his neighbor that attacked him, I get it. You wanting to apologize may make you feel better, but it won't do anything to help him. Look, Fergus screwed us both over, but we can't be friends. Not after he did that to my family. Three hours later. A little bit tardy. Yeah, well, I just wanted to come and clear the air. You've chosen Maxine. Sienna, this isn't about me choosing between you and Maxine. There are always fireworks between me and you, and it never ends well. So, what, are you ready to become a Boy Scout now? <laughs> I think that ship sailed a long time ago, don't you? 
No, I, I'm just trying to be a better man, a good dad. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we shouldn't be together, even I know that. I guess I'm still just grieving for Brody, and I don't know, I was looking for some sexual healing, that's all. <laughs> yeah, well, it was always Brody you loved. Not me. Exactly. And, you know, Maxine isn't quite as soft as I thought she was, so maybe she can rise to the challenge of Warren Fox. <laughs> Still, even though there's no real feelings between us, we should probably stay away from each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Thank you.